is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we do have a new episode of my damn hauls you guys will see we have so much mail right here psych we don't have a bunch of mail right here but i do have some figures that i got from retail as well as some custom wwe action figure clothing as well as some updated custom figures that we're going to take some whip photos of and i think you guys are going to be pretty excited about it and you know who it is and everything like that you guys will check it out but uh let's go ahead and get in the thing that's shitty about today's episode of my damn halls no trusty knife is going to be used just because there's no packages you know i don't use it to cut open anything okay it's got to be packages it's got to be something nice that we get in the mail from somewhere and i don't think i have any mail coming in the next few days uh, I, I can't think of actually i do i do have one more thing that's coming in very soon and that's going to be probably its own video because it's it's pretty sick i saw it on amazon i said you know what brad that that would be pretty epic to pick up but let's shut the hell up and get into it guys you guys will notice that we do have jeff hardy's chilling right here and the reason we have jeff hardy's chilling right here is because we do have some custom wwe action figure clothing that i want to try on and i'm going to use these three jeff hardys to be sort of our models if you will for our clothing that we're going to get into i'm going to zoom in shot a little bit right here mouth hurts like hell jesus let's go ahead and get in here guys here is the little baggie of shirts and i do want to give a huge shout out to custom figure shirts on instagram absolute beast he provides great custom quality clothing for the channel right here and uh, he, he did an excellent job on these shirts so let's go ahead and dive it right in here I'm, I'm opening them up I didn't want to spoil it but uh, let's go ahead and get into the first t-shirt right here we do have this Jeff Hardy t-shirt with the cross with the green outline I thought this would look best probably on this one just because of the greens tying in so we are going to go ahead and put this on it's got a nice little thickness on there so we're just going to slide this onto the figure and hopefully this will look pretty badassery right here wonderful deal Oh, by the way, on these on these figure shirts, I think he has great deals over there, so definitely go get in on that. So putting the shirt onto the figure right here, and yeah, Brad, I, I like the way that looks. I think that looks pretty epic sauce, but we do have two other shirts I want to get into, so we have that. And another thing that just popped in my head is I bought some loose action figures from my boy TJ from Undisputed Brotherhood, which should be here um, hopefully in the next few days or so. And uh, I think they're going to be epic. Uh, like, the freaking deal that I got on these figures and the haul that we're about to have is, is freaking unreal. TJ is such, such a freaking boss. And so uh, I, I want to give a huge shout-out to him for the epic haul that we're going to be getting. You guys are not going to believe all the figures that we get coming in here in the next few days. Whenever that comes in, that'll be an epic uh, episode of My Damn Hauls right there. So uh, getting into it here, trying to put this other T-shirt on. You guys will see we have the Willow T-shirt right there. And uh, this is a Willow Custom Jeff Hardy t-shirt right there. And then the last t-shirt that we got from Custom Figure Shirts is going to be this one, which is also a Willow Custom Jeff Hardy shirt. And you're probably wondering, why the hell did you get a custom Willow Jeff Hardy shirt? Well, Brad, I have a custom in the works, and it is a custom Willow the Wisp Jeff Hardy. And right now, BEW Animations is working on it. I'm going to plug in some whip photos up on the screen, and you guys can see how beautiful it is. It is not completely done, obviously, but it is in the works, and it looks so beautiful. You guys can see there on the screen. I freaking love it. I think he's killing it right now, and it's going to be even more beautiful once it's fully painted and everything. But BEW is knocking that thing out of the park, so we do have a custom Will of the Wisp Jeff Hardy in the works. I know people are going to be like, is he in the pick fed and all this stuff? Well, we'll just have to we'll just have to find out and see, Brad. We'll have to see what's going on with that. You know, we'll have to see how he's coming along. But here are the custom shirts. I think they're going to fit the Will of the Wisp figure of perfectly with the mask on there i did use an elite 57 jeff hardy as the base and then i got these three different shirts to interchange i put the ringside exclusive arms on the elite 57 uh bew is actually going to add the tattoo to the shoulder he's also going to do some other things to the figure so it's going to be great we did switch out the lower legs of that figure with fandango legs and then we acetone that off and i don't know why but i like the big e feet the big e shoes for the feet so I did add those I sent those over to him to put those on and I think it's going to look sick these custom figure shirts look great on these figures and they're probably going to look even better when they get on the Willow Elite so dude I'm hyped I don't think I've ever really seen any I've seen custom Elite Willows before but not to the BEW quality I don't think so I think that that figure is going to be excellent probably going to be one of the top customs of the year once it's completely finished but this is not all we have today guys we did go to Walmart and we did pick up some basic figures i finally found basic series 102 at walmart so i did pick up another seth rollins now i am going to open this right now because uh, i need to know what figure i should put it on i think this is my third or fourth basic like this 
so I have like three or four of these basics and I need to know what uh, what figure I should put it on. You know, I have the Elite 75 that already has the figure over here. We do have that somewhere. Where the hell is it? Oh God, it's all the way over here. Hold on just a second. So we do have the Elite 75. We have this one right here and then we have this one right here. And so I have two of the Elite 75 Seth, which is this head sculpt. I did send one of these off to get worked on a little bit. So I have that one that I'm waiting to show you guys. I also have one of them on this little custom fix up. I got another one somewhere else. I just like, it sucks because, you know, we get the smiley one from the top talents and then they release this one that's uh, that looks better in my personal opinion. So I load up on the smiley head sculpt and then they give us this one. So it's like, why the hell do I even need to buy head sculpts when they're just going to change them and make them a little bit better? I don't know, man. The, the Just the headaches of collecting WWE figures when they make better things and they get better and better. So I don't know what figure I'm going to put this on. I thought about popping it off and giving him the blonde streak and adding it to one of my, you know, SummerSlam 2015 Rollins in the white Ranger attire, but I'm not sure about that, so I just have to figure that out. We do have the basic 102 Rollins, though, to go with our Elite 75 Rollinses, and if you guys are wondering why this one doesn't have the best, well, I sent it off to Mac Decals to uh, make it a little bit more accurate because this one's missing some details and stuff, so I did want to send that off, get that customized, and then I'll put that back up on the shelf. But uh, not only did we get the basic 102 Rollins, they also had uh, they had zero elites. There were no elites at the at the Walmart. Very upsetting. Um, they also had at my other Walmart they had the WrestleMania 36 basic. So definitely be checking out that. I'm sure the elites will be hitting soon as well. But the other basic that I got, you guys are gonna probably be a little shocked, but we did get trash. Corbin, I finally got a Constable King trash, terrible and awfulness King Corbin. Now the reason I got this figure is obviously because uh, my custom or my my trash Corbin that I have has not been updated in a in, in forever. I have had that same trash Corbin forever. Now I can finally update it with this god awful TGI Fridays manager just terribleness trash Corbin figure, so I am going to be fixing this up. I don't know if I'm going to do it on an episode of Action Figure Surgery, you know, get in there, do the bald Finn Balor technique, where, you know, we, we acetone that off, maybe uh, add a little 5 o'clock shadow or something like that, repaint the hair. I don't know what I'm going to do, but that definitely, <laughs> that's definitely not accurate. That hair is not accurate. He's completely bald with, like, some, you know, a little bit of light fading in there. It's not, it's definitely not black like this, so I don't, I don't know what that is, but I definitely am going to customize that, fix that up, get that all straight to go, but um, yeah, we did pick up a new Trash Corbin figure. I'll probably, what we'll do on surgery probably is we'll take my Trash Corbin that I got from Fig Skib and I will pop the head off, we'll put this head on, or I'll customize this head, then head swap it so that uh, we can update our Trash Corbin and put the bald head sculpt onto the trash can Corbin and then uh, that way for predictions and stuff, he won't have his long hair anymore. He'll have the, the right hair style, the right hair color, the right, you know, not afro looking or, you know, short fade looking hairstyle that this is. And you know what's kind of funny is I knew a kid in elementary school, the kid's name was Trey Crates, and he used to steal everybody's pencils, and this is what that kid looks like. So uh, that's that's what this kid looks like right now, or that's what this Corbin figure looks like right now. He had the same hair, hair like style. He looked just like this, and uh, his, his beard, he didn't have a beard though because we were in like first or second grade, but he did steal pencils from everyone. Very annoying. You know the ones that were shiny and nice? The ones that were like, you know, you put them in the pencil machine for like a quarter and you get them back? He would always steal people's pencils and he always stole mine. And so that's just what this figure reminds me of. I don't forget shit, Brad. But there is our Trash Corbin. And then uh, I feel like I had something else. Oh yeah, I did want to show you guys this. And you guys probably already knew this, but I just wanted to reiterate it. The Ultimate Edition Brock Lesnar. Yes, we reviewed it. We talked about it. This figure is so badass. I freaking love this figure. I love posing it around. It's very fun to just move around guys and I just wanted to reiterate how fun this figure is to pose around and uh, it's probably going to be on my top 10 figures of the year. This figure is so just fun to pose around. I really don't know how to describe it. I guess if you guys own it you know what I'm talking about but I just love the way it looks. It, it just looks like a badass figure. It looks like he's about to come in here and just beat the shit out of every figure in this video. Just really, really enjoy this Brock Lesnar figure, and I, I wanted to reiterate that. I love the head sculpt and stuff. I just wanted to put that out there, but 
Uh, I think that about does it for this episode of My Damn Hauls. I know not the greatest thing ever. You know, we did get the custom figure shirts. We talked about the Trash Corbin, and uh, we got some new basics in here. But uh, we do have an epic haul on the way from Undisputed Brotherhood, and we also have some a little, a little thing from Amazon. I don't know how I forgot the big haul from TJ. That shit's going to be lit. Uh, the uh, the stuff we're getting from Amazon is very unique. I can't wait to use it. Hopefully, um, it comes. I think it's actually supposed to be here today, so maybe that'll be in a video either tomorrow or the next day 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 or the next day. And 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 the next day. Phone call, Mr. Plankton. And the next day. And the next day. And the next day. And the next day. I don't freaking know. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this episode of My Name Halls. I hope you guys did enjoy. You know, I don't think it'd be an episode of My Name Halls without the freaking trusty knife. So let me grab him real quick. Here's a trusty knife. I'm not going to open him because you can't open him without actually using him. And I'm not going to use him right now. So I can't open it because then Dolph Ziggler's theme will play. And if Dolph Ziggler's theme plays, then, you know, he's going to be opening packages. And there's no packages to open. And then he'll be upset. And then he'll want to stab me in my sleep. So we're going to get the hell out of here, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Again, I am having my wisdom teeth pulled on Friday so I got to get as much filming done between now and then as possible so that we don't delay the show anymore but thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on Instagram and Twitter my name is toys and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you and the next day 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 and the next day. Phone call, Mr. Plankton. And the next day. And the next day. And the next day. And the next day. Ah!